favorite training partners with me today. These are my kids and we're going to share with you uh, how to gang up on big people. One of the things we do in our kids program is teach kids not just how to use jiu-jitsu to defend themselves but to help defend somebody else if they need help. And what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that Zaven is the big bully and he's picking on Zenon's little sister. Right? Now hold on. Okay. We're going to frame it a little bit. Now, when we want to come up against somebody who's bigger than us, we don't want to play fair, right? Yeah. What are we going to do? We're going to cheat. We're going to come up from behind. So Zaven's over here, busy picking up, picking on, on Zena's little sister, and he's going to surprise attack. He's going to grab his shoulders real quick, push his knee down, pull him down. He's going to spin around, and he's going to go what we call side control, or sometimes we use crocodile control, like the Gracie kids. We're gonna come here like this. We're gonna pin him down nice and tight. And Leah's gonna jump in and help out. She's gonna put all her weight on his legs. Okay, now, if Zaven's able to bend his legs up, right now Leah's got his, his legs bound up, she's gonna put her hooks in. She's gonna pretend like it's just another normal day in jiu-jitsu class. She's gonna put her hooks in. She's gonna drive all of her weight down on top of Zaven. She's gonna put her head sideways, hold on super tight. And then what? Wait for the cavalry. Or a teacher, maybe. Or we negotiate, right? Sound good? Do you give up yet? You sure? What about now? What about now? You give up? No. <laughs> okay, all right, good job. Back up. So let's go over the, the stomp one time real quick. Let me borrow you, Zaven. Go ahead and hop up for me. Now what Zena's gonna do is he's gonna reach up here, he's gonna grab his shirt and just get a good grip. He's gonna slap and grab. This is what we call just slap and grab. Boom, slap and grab. And as soon as he grabs that shirt, he's gonna start pulling Zaven backwards. Well, the natural reaction for him is to step back. Wouldn't let, let go for one second? Let me jump in there. So when I just pull like this, he's gonna walk back with me, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna stop him from being able to walk back just by simply going pop, just like that. The knee naturally bends that way. I'm not really kicking Zaven hard. I'm just popping that knee out so that I break his balance enough for him not to be able to step back and keep his base. So as soon as I slap, boom, I pull him down, we come around, we can go knee in the belly first, then we drop down, and we're gonna go right here to side control, hold super, super tight. Our weight is distributed really well over top of Zaven. All of our weight's on his legs, all my weight is up here on his chest, or Zenon's, and we're stabilized. And we're gonna hold, and then we can negotiate, or Zenon may even be able to go to like knee in the belly, right? So, if someone's picking on your sister and you need to defend them, surprise attack. That's the way to do it. Thanks a lot. Good job. Give it a try. Hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.